Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today we'll be painting over another old sketch. This is actually from my older sketchbook, which I will be trying to revive because I want to do a sketchbook tour for this soon. And there are a few things in here that I want you guys to see. This painting and drawing right now is from a show called Sharp Objects, which is so good. You should watch it if you haven't yet. And the sketch itself was done with my red and black pens. But for the painting, I will be using my Holbein gouache. I also bought a new color for it, which is new to me. This is Burnt Umber. I don't think I've used it before, and especially not with gouache. I think the only ones I had in my set was Burnt Sienna, so I'm really excited to try that. Also using a new cute little palette that I will be sh showing off with my art supply haul soon. So there's a lot of new things I want you guys to see, but I'm gonna be talking about this painting, but I also want to give a little update on what I've been working on, some of my future videos and things like that. But first for this painting, I, I think it went really well initially. I think I got the colors right, so I was really happy with that. I really think that the burnt umber gave me a substitute for burnt for brown that was more neutral than burnt sienna. Before this, I actually would have prefer preferred to mix my own browns, and I think I still do with watercolors. But one of the things that I have found from using gouache and painting with it so much is that it's a lot easier to use your own brown paint. Um, I think it's very different because watercolors, with watercolors, is mixing with them is just so easy because most of the time you're actually just mixing water. With gouache, you're working mostly with the paint. And especially something like this, a painting like this, where I think all of my layers are very thick. And I'm only using the water to make my paint be workable. It's not as important, the water is not as important as it is with watercolors. So I think it's a lot harder to mix with gouache. It's easier to for your paint to get stuck in the bristles of your brush and so it's easier to contaminate your colors. And especially brown, which is a mix of all of the colors that you really need to be vibrant. I think just logistically, it's a lot easier to use pre-mixed paint. So before I had Burnt Sienna, which is what I had in my set of Holbein gouache, but I just really impulsively got Burnt Umber this time I when I was trying to refill my colors that I have already used up, like my white. I impulsively just got the Burnt Umber instead of the Burnt Sienna, and I'm so happy that I got it because Burnt Sienna is very red, and so when I want some more neutral brown, I'd have to add more yellow or blue to Burnt Sienna. And I think, especially for this painting, the Burnt Umber worked better for the colors that I wanted to choose. So I love that cream looking color it added to her sleeves, so it's not fully white, but it's also not leaning cool or warm, it's just just not white and i love that and i also even used it for her skin which usually i would actually prefer to mix my own skin tones because i think it gives me more control over how the colors look but for this time i really loved using the burnt umber and i think at least for the photo that i was working with her skin looked pretty neutral and so I really loved using the Burnt Umber for it. I think it made the red accents to her sleeves and her jacket just pop out so much more.
One thing that I was really, really nervous about was her face because there's just so much going on to this painting that her face ended up looking really small and especially for me with my paintings, I really like to fixate on the face. I feel like if I get the face right, I've, I'm more easygoing about the rest of the painting but this one is just so small that I had to use um, very small brushes and there are a lot of nuances to her face that I had to get right which is not only hard for, because of that but also is especially harder especially when you're working with very thick paint like this but on this stage I really just liked it I was very happy with the proportions and the expressions of her face that well just enough for me to be happy moving on to the background which is another thing that I was, was dreading before I started this. I wasn't exactly planning on making it too intricate. Uh, I just wanted it to look finished enough that it looks like it belongs in the painting with the subject. So even that was hard, I think it's easier to just copy straight from the photo and have it just try my best to make it look as close to the painting as possible, but it's just not the look that I was going for and I'm not even sure that I would be able to pull that off anyway but it's just not the look that I want and so even that decision for how just how detailed and how far I wanted to go for this painting was hard for me to decide on. <laughs> I also had to do a lot of straight lines with which I'm just not used to painting and those straight lines are very important for making her shape and just her pose really stand out so, and especially those vertical lines are very important so it's, it's important for me to get them right but then there are also shapes going on and a, a lots of colors and shapes going on and it's of everyday objects so I have to get those right or else it'd be really easy to spot if I do it wrong. So it just wasn't feeling right so I kept going back and forth between that and her face which actually the more I worked on her face just it's just straight farther and further from the actress that I was trying to paint. And I was just so frustrated that I actually did so many things for me to justify not finishing this painting. Tried to get, get away from it a lot. Did a lot of sketches on my sketchbook and I even watched a lot of watercolor videos. Which was a bad idea because I saw Jane Betta's watercolor videos and I was just so inspired to paint with watercolors again that, that I actually started to do a sketch for a watercolor painting before I realized that behind, before I can do that I had to finish this one but even then I did a live stream where I talked about my frustration for this painting and also about this show and how it has made me realize that I had this weird fear of teenagers which I still think is valid if you're an adult that you will be a little bit I mean awkward around teenagers and especially watching the show I felt so much for Camille when her little sister just this person I'm painting when her and her friends would sort of joke around at Camille's expense it it's just that awkwardness and uneasiness of being an adult in a room full of cool teenagers I, f I just found so relatable. But anyway, I was speaking of the characters. This one I'm painting is played by Eliza, Eliza Scanlon and I think I, after trying my best to get it to look like her, 
I, it actually ended up looking like Sophia Lillis, who is her sister in the movie. So it's frustrating that she doesn't look like the person that I wanted to paint, but also I don't feel so bad because she looks like her sister, so I'm just not mad about it. But after I, de I decided where I wanted to go with her face and was just was just settled on the look that I wanted, um, it was more about just building up the details that I had already put in, especially for her clothes and the background. Just trying to get it to resemble some kind of order. Overall, with this painting, I actually like how it looks. I don't think it's perfect, but I'm also just I'm just happy with how <laughs> it looks right now. I think there are a few things that I glazed over, like her hair. Um, I think I normally would have painted that a little bit more, and especially the the stuff on the stuff that are behind her to her left. I think I could have built up more, but. Um, I really like it. I think I did get her to stand out in front of those very colorful background, especially using the white as sort of sneakily get it to outline the bottles behind her. But actually I'm using that to make her shape stand out and just get her exact pose right. Because in the show, she kind of gives off this attitude about her that I really wanted to capture. Her face isn't really mean which is what drew me to the photo. I think there's a lot of little nuances to her performance that even though she does come off a little bit mean, that you actually end up trusting her anyway and just wanting to protect her. But um, if you've seen this show, you kind of know what, what I mean already. But yeah, I really think that I got it to be exactly how I wanted it to be, just her face wise. I also wanted to give you guys an update on what I've been working on and especially for my one photo and four mediums series. I had to stop it at acrylics and oils because I had to order some canvas boards. I'm so happy that I actually asked the Discord server and especially people who primarily worked with acrylics which um, surface would be, be best to, point to paint them with to get them to work as best as they could because with watercolors I painted on cotton paper which is the best for watercolors and for gouache I used also watercolor paper but not cotton because I think that is a paper that works best for, for gouache so I'm so glad that I asked the server and what they told me was acrylics would feel best on canvas or canvas support so I ordered some of that and I'd have to wait a few weeks for those things to get here because I live somewhere really remote so that does mean that that series would have to wait but I will be doing more watercolor videos actually 
some walkthroughs for my Patreon and I think the edited shorter versions of those videos I will be posting here. But also just because of Jane's videos, her watercolor portraits are so good that I've been itching to work with watercolors now. And especially the way she paints them, she's so carefree with her colors that I wanted to do some paintings in the way that she does them. So I really can't wait to paint with watercolors again. But I've also been suffering from my allergies and my medicine for them just makes me so loopy that I haven't been able to film and so I haven't been able to paint at all. So I'm so sorry for this video just taking so long. But during that time, I was able to sketch a lot, so I actually think I'll be able to do another sketchbook tour soon. So I'm really excited about that. There are a lot of things there that I really want you guys to see. I will also be doing an art supply haul. So there's just so many different things that are coming. I'm so grateful for everyone who watches my videos anyway, even when they are a little bit late like this one. But yeah thank you everyone for watching i feel like i've talked so much in this video but i did also get a new mic so hopefully it's not as bad as when i was recording my audio with just my phone but that is it for this one thank you guys for watching and i will be seeing you again soon